Hello everybody, this is Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. Okay, for this gorgeous Saturday evening for you, I have video for on a finish up build that I started probably a few months ago. Uh, this is the Merit 118 scale SPD dotless dive bomber. And uh, right now, I, I try to do common sense right now. Instead of starting all these darn builds and, and all these bit of builds I got started, they're starting to pile up on me. So I think it's about time to get them all finished and get them all squared away. Now, I've got uh, I got the dotless. I got to finish up on. I shall this thing done probably by tomorrow. I'll be done. And I got my 148 scale Lancaster with Tamiya. That's got depreciated and painted. I already masked the canopy already. I got to put that in the place. I got to put some five minute epoxy glue the canopy if I do anything. It's only been mass, thank God. And I got this one. Oh, you guys are going to love this. This is my Airfix 124 scale Stuka. This must be some group build. I think it was, uh, it was a national group build. That was about B-17. I forget what group build this thing was on. But it, uh, I just don't remember. But uh, anyway, this is supposed to be for a group build. And uh, of course, I laid it aside, let it abandon for a while, went other directions. So I'm going to finish up that, that, that link, finish up the SBB, and I'll finish this up, finish up that Ventura Mark II bomber, my RAF special. And uh, Swordfish only got about two flying wires on, it's all done, so I have. I'll plan to reveal for that probably by this Sunday. Might be tomorrow. And uh, so right now, I've been, uh, last night, I got, last of these all painted except the propeller. And, uh, I, I had that started on the decals last night on one side of the aircraft that's on the port side. As so I pick this thing up. Now, I've got the, uh, the can't be all mass. I chose this early colors before they went to intermediate blue. This was used during the Battle of Midway. This is off the carrier USS Lexington. And this is the uh, paint scheme they used on this. Then they start going to intermediate blue right after that. On the prop, it's going to be all natural aluminum. I'm not going to put that hub on there. I did some research on this bad boy. I got a book, a booklet has everything on this dot list. It was polished aluminum with manganese. Metal on the uh, alloy aluminum on the um, on the spinner. Then by the also you get the pot balancers. Kelly comes up, reveals the engine. And uh, everything works on this thing. Line gear folds, goes up and down. I got few parts I got to put on it. So the main thing is everything's been painted on this thing, so I'm all in the decals. On the other side, it's not. But I haven't got done on the bottom either. So I'll probably do it. Got the decals all cut out ahead of time, so I'll probably be working on decals tonight. Might make a live action with decals on. The airplane's already been painted with varnish. Clear varnish to preserve the paint. I decided not to go ahead and put a wash on it. Because these things really weren't that old at the time. Uh, they were actually they were pre-war. They had yellow wings, polished aluminum fuselage, and uh in the, in the aircraft carrier club, call out code colors that they use on it. So when the war got started by 1940, they all went to Navy's blue gray. And right by 1942, they, they started to change the intermediate blue. But blue gray and intermediate blue dotless is fine. They use it, they use it in the battle midway. And uh, the kit comes with a 500 foot with a Thousand pound SAP blockbuster bomb and two 100 pound bombs beneath the wings. So I'm going to apply the decals, get them finished, 
and add a little details on this thing. Well, I got some that uh, put a little wash on some details, bring out some little features on there. Lastly, I'll put the landing lights on. And uh, now the end, she's finished. And uh, pick the maskings up and look windscreen here. Now, I got this going here. This is my 148 scale Tamiya Lancaster. I haven't got the HK one. A lot of people say it's a beautiful kit, and I'm quite sure that it is. But I'm quite partial to this old Tamiya. This old Tamiya job still stands out. I love it. This is one of my favorite English aircraft. Uh, probably one of my famous, uh, one of my favorite aircraft of all time, Mason Mitchell. Such an elegant and beautiful lady that the Lancaster was. So Roy Chadwick did an excellent job in designing that aircraft. And uh, on the snooker here, it needs to be appreciated. I got the filler on there. I got to prime it first, then appreciate it. And uh, all the pop comes off. This comes off, so I'm going to make sure it's on there first, and uh, mask the cockpit, and put it in place, pre-shade, and paint. And of course, get the Ventura bomb. This thing's ready uh, for prime, pre-shading, and paint. Airplane, it is. What else you got going? That's about it. That's it. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the decals out, prepare them. I'll probably do them live night, live action. It'd be such a relaxing thing to do. I could talk a little bit and chat with you and still put the decals on here. And um, I went and uh, used varnish on this thing. It has a little shade to it. I kind of like the way it is in between. Uh, a matte finish and a nice smooth sheen. It has a nice sheen to it. I like it. Man, that's, beautiful. that's about the best atlas I've ever had in my whole life. Looking at it, it's about the size of my Willows kit. And that <laughs> Willows is something else. That thing is a gimmick model. It did everything but fly. This thing does everything but fly. Everything on this thing works just like a real airplane. Only thing he's missing is the pilot. And a real right cyclone motor. I don't believe this thing would really fly. And a beautiful airplane she is. Oh, yeah. This I mean, I'm to show you. I got about eight of these in my stash. I bought these back in 1977. Yeah. The first one I got came out in 74. 1973, the Airfix one came out. I got that from, uh, uh, a, mail, a mail ordering house. What was it called? Um, it's out of Texas, probably Texas. The Squadron. And I ordered that. Then a monogram came out with this. I ordered that from there. Then I bought seven more from Kmart. Because back in the mid-70s, Kmart was really in the heyday. They stocked up with these things and, and Black Widow kits. And oodles and oodles of old Comet balsa wood kits. I voted up. I went and bought a bunch of those. This thing only cost a dollar and eighty-five cents. It cost at Kmart back in those days. I think this model was listed for about two dollars back then. I got it pretty cheap. I got a bunch of them. I brought this out. I've done a little bit of work to it, not very much. We get the fuselage off. As a matter of fact, I think I started here. I did start this here in this trailer. I'm not too certain. I'm mean, gonna probably made a video of this. 
And I got the pus pumping all painted out. And I had a wash there and details and buttoned up the fuselage. This is truly, at the time, this is a very old model, guys. This thing came out back in 1974. Even today, I think this airplane is very superb. I think it is. Mongum, good folks of Mongum, made sure that most stones were uncovered when they designed this kit. They must have got a blueprint. That's about it, fellas. And some point in time, I'll return back to my ships and get those going. I'm just like a kid in the candy store now, get my stuff finished up on, so they need to be finished, guys. You know, I started these a long time ago, about a year ago or so. And uh, they got me done. So, they're here in front of my face. I'm not going to bail out. I'm going to get them done and make videos. And, uh, and just build on. Okay, I'm out of here. Probably have live action about two, two or three hours now. We'll get a live action going on. i got to get some chow. And uh, I have a barbecue going on. I got, I got a roast cooking out there in a the barbecue right now. And so I got to tend to that and watch that. And uh, get back after supper and put the finish up the decals on this thing. Let it dry 24 hours. And tomorrow I'll just start putting the pieces on it and paint inside the dive brakes red. And it should be finished by, uh, I'll have a final reveal for this on Monday. And a final reveal of my, my beautiful Perry Swordfish Torpedo Bomber up there. And then I'll turn two on my lank. And I'll get on that Ventura Bomber. I'm also working on that Stuka. So I'll probably work on a two at a time right there and get them all done. Probably three at a time. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. Make Mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Be careful how you drive. Be aware of your surroundings. Stay focused when you drive. And uh, say your prayers. And I'd like to thank all my new subscribers, all my viewers and commenters. I'm very de de uh, honored each one of you all. Oh, yeah. One more thing. I just seen it right in front of my face. If it was a snake, it would have bit my ass. This is an oldie but goodie. I forgot. This is an old monogram job. I bought this back in 1956. This model cost exactly 75 cents back then. Still a complete kit. We'll give you a little sneak preview here. And the kit, you give me like a balsa hoe. This is the Baltimore class cruiser. This little shape you have, the shape you have, get that knuckle old right there. All shaped. This, this in, in a way, it reminds you of the old, uh, of the Ravel one they got. A half ass full hull or a waterline model, so it looks pretty good. Just build like nifty fifty style. Yeah, I figure you guys get a kick out of that. I got that out of my storage. I got the sea view down there, the big 40 inch one. I got them all down there, and they're all coming your way. Okay. God bless you all. Say your prayers. Thank you very much for, for viewing this thoughtless presentation on my video for it. And uh, take care of Mama. Like I say, take care of little ones. And take care of yourselves. See you tonight. This is Frank Dave, Frank Dave Model signing out. We'll catch you guys this evening.